The party's just begun. Better late than never. Hi, kids. Come on in. Are you ready to wear Gucci? I feel like I look like I'm in a, um, a 90s gospel choir, and I like that. Ooh. Hi, guys. Come on in. I missed you, too. There's a baby in here talking to me. I'm feeling very 70s Gucci. Come on, we've got so much to talk about, honey. The return of Sheila, my next door neighbor, is back with a vengeance. Gucci. Jesse Smollett. Omniron Con variant. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to Total Trash Live. I'm your host, Pete Zayas. This is the show, honey, where I'm going to read you all of this week's absolute trash. They're trying to say Joe Biden's sleepy. Honey, aren't we all tired of this year? But first, you know, look at this. Absolutely. Look at these. Look at these baby dolls. This place of show, of course, is sponsored by Ashton Drake. Look at these baby dolls dressed up as deers. Two of them. You get two for the price of one. I think you do. I think they're connected. Oh dear, the twins are here. Welcome to Total Trash Live. Oh dear, the twins are here. I know this tea is so steamy, honey. That's why I was late getting on here live. Look at this. I can't drink this. I'll end up on Inside Edition as a burned. Uh, I've burned myself. Look how gorgeous. Tis the season to be jolly. I'm, um... Have you guys... Do you, any of you guys wear Gucci? Do you own any Gucci? This is... I own two Gucci things. Um, white Gucci loafers that I bought in 1997 and this Gucci scarf, this is fake. I got this during the pandemic when I couldn't cut my hair, so I wore bandanas. Honey, they need to make an, a an Ashton Drake Gucci doll. Like a Gucci Ashton Drake doll. Oh, father, son, the house of Gucci. I went and saw House of Gucci, honey. Did you guys see House of Gucci? Did you see it? <laughs> oh, I went last night and saw it. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. <coughs> I'm choking, honey, and it's not a variant. It's a feather. We're going to get to all of that in a second. Now, everybody, come on inside. The show has just begun. I got you like this... this Zoot suit. I got it from um, a store called LNG Vintage in Silver Lake, and um, I thought, why not? It gives me, it makes me feel vintage Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, cool. <laughs> Just as my let trial starts today. Do you know that Jesse Smollett is back on trial, honey? We're going to get to Gucci. We're going to get to my neighbor Sheila and I had a face-to-face -face confrontation. Um, and we're going to get to um, these tabloids. But, um, yes, honey, I didn't end up going to look theater for the Gucci movie. Now, I ended up going um, to, there's this place called City Walk here in Los Angeles. It's like a... Um, it's where they have Universal Studios. And there's like an outdoor mall with the trashiest restaurants. So if you're starving, don't go there. I don't want to eat a Forrest Gump's jumbo gumbo shrimp platter. Okay? I mean, just make make restaurants that have all of Tom Hanks' movies. You can have Philadelphia, Philadelphia cheesesteaks, a league of their own wieners, splash seafood extravaganza. Just make them all into restaurants. But I won't be dining at them.
Did anybody else see Gucci? Did anybody else see Gucci? Honey, let me tell you something. Those accents are all over the map. It's time to take out the trash. First of all, that movie, I'm not going to give away some spoilers. So if you don't want to know what happens in Gucci, House of Gucci, and believe me, I saw the movie and I don't know what happened in House of Gucci, then you can't, you're going to have to log off. I burned my Gucci after that film. <laughs> Honey, we all should. Now, Apparently, um, the woman who was married to Gucci um, had an assassin kill him. But that doesn't happen until the very end of the movie. Also, some, the best part of the movie is Lady Gaga plays the woman that hires this assassin to kill her husband. Then she sees Selma Hayek as like a um, psychic hotline, like um, the woman that used to be on um, Miss Cleo. So Selma Hayek's like a Miss Cleo in Italy. And Lady Gaga goes to her for advice, calls her live and talks to her live on the air, and then somehow they end up in a mud bath together. Oh, yes, honey. House of Gucci. She ends up in a mud bath with her. Why not? That's the movie I wanted to see. I wanted to see that movie. I wanted to see, it's like Laverne and Shirley with like Lady Gaga as, you know, trying to get her husband killed and that psychic. It's time to take out the Gucci, honey. The, everyone has crazy town accents. Jerry Leto's in the fat suit acting like Mario from Mario Brothers. Ugh. Al Pacino's in it doing something. Um, ugh, that movie. I don't know if I'll ever be the same. It's two and a half hours long. Oh, I mean, we were just screaming and yelling at the screen. It was a mess. It's the, it's the, I mean, nothing happens in that movie. But Lady Gaga will probably be nominated for an Academy Award. Lady Gaga's going to be nominated. Nicole Kidman will be nominated for Lucy. Halle Berry for being bruised. Just nominate everybody. It's going to be like a drag show. And, and I'm here for it. This is a drag show. This show is a drag show. The House of Cleo. You really do love my look tonight? There's a baby in my radio. I put this together myself. I think it just says, crazy. What category am I walking in? Um, Purdue feathered, um, stuck at the border, stuck at the... Um, at the uh, su supply chain, supply chain realness, feathered plucked edition. Yes, honey. You guys, um, just when we thought Jesse Smollett was over, honey, it's just begun. Do you know there's a trial in Chicago for the Jesse Smollett fake gay bashing? And now last week, or the last episode, I talked about where I, um, I stole my own identity. I was in a fight with Chase Bank because I thought there was fraudulent charges, but I made the fraudulent charges. So I couldn't identify with a fake gay bash. If he faked gay bashed himself. You know, now do you guys, does anybody here believe that Jesse Smollett, Smollett was, is an actual victim or he is a fraud? Now, come on, come on, come on. I want to know, what do you think? Is Jesse Smollett guilty or innocent? Inquiring minds want to know. I know, and I'll tell you, guilty. Electric chair. I solved that case when it first happened. Because before it was revealed that he attacked himself, I knew. Because there was a letter sent to his studio and the words were cut out. Like a magazine of a magazine. You know, from like the bodyguard or serial mom. I know a straight person does that, honey. That's a gay theatrical person. I know because I've done it. And that's the tea. Just put Jesse Smollett in the electric chair and let's end this charade. It's time to take out the trash, Jesse Smollett. Hey, girl. Come on in. We're talking about Jesse Smollett. We're talking about Gucci. Did anybody see House of Gucci? I mean, if some of you are, could still be in the movie theater, because that's how long it is. 
Even the people who work with me knew. Bzzz. House of Juicy. House of Juicy Smollett. It's time to take out the trash. Now, we're gonna get to these tabloids in a second. We're gonna get to the Sheila um, situation right now. So if anybody has seen a previous episode of Total Trash Live, I have, I have a disturbing um, occurrence with a downstairs neighbor. She knocked on my door and told me, I know there's nothing you can do, but I can hear you walking. And I said, yes, honey, there is nothing I can do. Who do you think I am? You think I can just levitate? Do you think I'm Dua Lipa? So I've been dealing with this woman. She's been t banging on her ceiling whenever she can hear me, like walk around my own apartment. So on um, the day before Thanksgiving, Sheila was at it again, honey. Seven o'clock in the morning, I get up and change my daughter's litter box. And I'm just being a good mother taking care of my daughter. And I'm attacked for it when I hear boom, boom, boom. Well, honey, I had it. I had it. I had it, honey. It was time to take out the litter. And so I pounded back on the damn floor for Sheila and called my super, who's a homosexual, who I had to deal with when the neighbor was pronounced dead. And I said to him, I'm like, Sheila is, you know, aggressively hitting the ceiling. He's like, well, okay, I just want to know if you did anything that would trigger her at seven in the morning. I said, yeah, I changed my cat's litter and I walked barefoot into the kitchen. He's like, are you working out? Are you walking around in your house with boots? <laughs> No, but I'm walking around in my house with feathers, you ding dong. And so, and then he asked me if my cat's jumping around. Well, so what if she is? First of all, there's carpeting. This woman downstairs can't hear if a cat jumps. Sheila, honey. Sheila. Sheila is just... So I said, you need to call her and talk, talk to her. So I guess he calls her and, he, and then she tells him that she admits that she banged on her ceiling that she shouldn't have done it. But she says, I make noise at all times of day. 2 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 o'clock. I'm like, first of all, do you ever leave the house? You can hear me walking at all times. What a lunatic. Oh, I gotta get my lips glossy for the rest of this story. So, at 12, approximately 12.30 Wednesday afternoon, I'm working out on Zoom here in my apartment and I'm not jumping up and down and I'm not lift, lifting weights up and down. So it's not, and there isn't any noise. Are you guys following me with this story? Oh, Sheila. I hear a click, 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 knock, knock, knock. Sure enough, I look at the people, it's Sheila. Oh, honey, Sheila won't stop. Sheila will not stop. I open up the door, she has like a mask on. Thank God, I, put, I go put my mask on. She, puts, she has a mask on, she has her hair all wet and stringy and just like these sad eyes like, hi, um, I just wanna make sure that we can get along. Um, she's white but has like a, a, a foreign accent. I guess it's a, honey, I guess it's a Gucci accent. Everyone has them. Hi, I want you to know, I want us to get along. I can't get, I, 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 um, I won't be hitting the ceiling any longer. I know that's a, that's a bad thing for me to do. And I won't be here much longer. I'm leaving. You're leaving? Sheila, you're not going to be here? I'm leaving the end of January and I'm going to be gone all of December. So ladies and gentlemen and non-gender specific, Sheila will be leaving the building. I won. I always do, honey. I always win. Don't come for me. Don't come for me and don't come for my daughter when I'm just changing her, her litter. Can you believe that? Sheila is going. I don't know where she's going. She's probably going to Italy. Because it's time to take out the trash. Honey, I took out the trash. I took out Sheila. Bye, girl. Bye, wig. Bye, ding dong. I, mean, I don't know where you're going to live where you can't stand to hear your neighbor walk around in his carpeted apartment. God, what a crazy person. What a loser. She was obsessed with me. She's obsessed with me. But I have a weird feeling <laughs> that it's not 100% over with Sheila. I have a feeling there's going to be a, a third act. 
There's gonna be one more thing Sheila's gonna try. And you know what, let her try it. Because I'll tell you something. If there's one thing I learned from House of Gucci, it's how to take out the trash. Period. But you know, I don't know where she's gonna go. She might as well, she might as well stay in the house because honey, we're all gonna have to stay in the house because the numbers are up. The numbers are up and there's a new variant. Have you guys heard about the octogenarian variant? I, don't, I can't remember the name. What is it called? Octagon? Rubicon? Honey, I just wanna know, is this, is this variant an, auto, an Autobot or a Decepticon? Send Sheila away, send Jesse Smollett away, and send away this auto uh, this autocorrect variant. Wait, what's happening to Inside Edition? What do you mean what's happening to Inside Edition, honey? It's 7 o'clock, Inside Edition is on. Too much fat. The fat they put in, uh, the fat they put in, bagged her nerves. I mean, what? It pressed her <coughs> nerves. That's why she can't walk. Experts say the demand for Brazilian butt lifts has gotten oh, so high my that ass unscrupulous bigger. and unqualified people are now trying to cash in. That's right. Offering get, black market butt lift injections. Get it, honey. Shoot it up. At discount prices. Case in point, this woman who doesn't even two have a medical license. <laughs> it's like a pinch. Have you ever got a needle? We found her advertising her advanced glute enhancement needle therapy on this Instagram account. The cost? $950. Wearing hidden cameras, <coughs> Inside Edition producers Honey, do it. Powers and Katie Taylor met with her in Get this office space. This is what's going to go. This is what Madonna got. So one for each cheek. One for each cheek. What's in it. Okay, so mainly collagen. Uh-huh. We have olive vera paint. Olive vera paint in your ass. Vitamin Seaweed, e. vitamin E, um, a few kiss. So we can Google Wait, it if you want. Yep. She can't even remember what's in those She doesn't sprinches. know what she's sticking in your ass. Yeah. There's oh, honey, coffee? <laughs> there's coffee in your ass. Right, right. Can I ask what? So we'll go right here. Honestly, I love this what Inside Edition does. Investigate it. Well, it's not investigative research and hidden cameras on Instagram. I love what Inside Edition does. Investigative research and hidden cameras on Brazilian butt lifts. Honey, this is serious. This woman is, this woman is sticking coffee in people's asses. What yes. happens now? I caught up with her as she left for the night. Are you performing black market butt injections here? Yes. yes. Do you have a medical license? No. No, I don't know. Were you just about to inject a young woman here a few minutes ago? No. Are you sure you weren't doing I'm that? Positive. Because we have hidden cameras on you. That's right, honey. No, I didn't do anything like that. It's hard to believe that that type of thing happens. In this oh, I believe day. it. Now, first of all, should I start doing any sort of cosmetic procedures on this Instagram account? Because, honey, um, there's a new variant and everything's going to shut down again. So we're going to have to figure out how to make money from home. So I'm going to maybe, like, I can give people injections. Tea is, 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 is tea in people's asses. Yes, honey, tea's in people's asses. Coffee's in people's asses. Michael B. Jordan's in my ass. <laughs> Oh, that was such a vulgar joke, but I mean, I've been through a lot with Sheila. So, have we learned anything from today? Get those Gucci butt lifts. There should be a Gucci butt lift. It's time to take out the ass. Father, son, ass of Gucci. Father, son, I love Lucy. That was staged? No, honey, I think that woman did not know that there was a hidden camera. She didn't even know how to, um, um, she doesn't have a medical license, but she has an Instagram account. And doesn't that count for something in this day and age? I hope that was a decaf butt lift. Because if it, if it has caffeine in it, honey, those cheeks are going to be rolling. No, I have not seen Lucy yet, because Lucy hasn't come out yet, the Lucy movie. Um, oh. Speaking of Lucy, I used to have an I Love Lucy doll from the Hamilton collection when I grew up. Oh, I don't know where that doll is. Somebody has that doll. I, I mean, I have a storage unit. It's probably in that, that doll's probably in there. Oh, I gotta get that doll out. Well, honey, it's, let's, before we, we begin with today's tabloids, I will, I just want to do one quick thing. I want would you guys like to play a game? 
I would love to play a game with all of you. It's one of my favorite games. Oh, I think it's in this one. Now, do you guys like games? <laughs> Can you guess who this woman is? They stretched her face out. Who do you think this is? <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Look at her. They they gave her um, bigger eyes and bigger lips. Now, whoever guesses this correctly gets absolutely nothing. It's not Rita Moreno. It's not Kate Gosling. It's not Farrah Fawcett. It's not Kathy Lee. It's not Mary Hart. Who the F is that? Honey, that's, what, that's the game. Who the F is this? It's not Deborah Messing. Who is this woman? I'll give you a hint. That don't impress me much. It's not Lumina. She's a wonderful singer. I'll give you a hint. It's not Deborah Messing. Does she, man, man, does she feel like a woman? It's Shania Twain. Ding, 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 ding. You got it. You got it, honey. It's Shania Twain. Oh, look at her. Back and relevant than ever. Oh. Honey, what are we going to do about this variant? Do you think Christmas is canceled? Do you think we should, I should even bother making New Year's Eve plans? Honey, cancel those brunch. Cancel those brunch reservations because Omnicon variant booked all the tables. You're not going to be able to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, Shania Twain, honey. All right, now let's get to these tabloids. Why are they saying he's sleeping? We're all tired of this, of this, of everything. Wasn't that a fun game? Oh, I can't with, I can't with this family. Oh. Did they cut their own hair? Oh, sweet dreams, Danny. Look at him, he's just floating. Ah, oh, this should, this would be a wonderful Christmas present, but you probably won't be, won't be able to, um, you probably won't be able to get it because of the supply chain. Danny will be stuck at the Long Beach um, port. So just enjoy him here. Just cut this out and gave it to somebody as a doll. Danny, Danny's unconscious. Danny's asleep. Joe Biden's asleep. Honey, everybody's asleep at the wheel. Nobody cares about this country anymore. It's a damn mess. I do, though. Because it's time to take out the doll. It's time to take out Danny. Tina Trouble. Proud Mary keeps on suing. She's suing everybody? <laughs> That's not Tina Turner. <gasps> she, what happened? She sold her wig? Terrific Tina Turner is simply the best and doesn't want all the rest cashing in on her name. The show's actual star, Dorothea Coco Fletcher, who was a full 50 years younger than her, is, I never thought our tribute to her would cause such a fuss, but on the other hand, we must be doing something right. <gasps> Tina doesn't like her because she's too much like Tina. Yeah, honey, Tina's not going to have it. There's only one Tina. What about these pants? <laughs> honey, are these Gucci? What in the hell? I mean, can these pants get any higher, any wider? Sh Shaka Turner. Shania Turner. Kim sex life has Kanye eating crow. Captivated Kim Kardashian is flaunting her fling with bad boy comic Pete Davidson and bashing a strange husband Kanye West. Oh, I don't care about these two. She's having sex with him. We know. Oh, Ellen's opening a vegan store, a vegan restaurant. Oh my God. Nobody wants to watch you on TV. No, nobody wants to eat. What are you doing to everybody? 
Ben is smoking, but Jen, but JLo hates it. Oh, honey, what if she doesn't have to care? She's never home. She's always doing a show, opening a movie. Super healthy diva Jennifer Lopez is hot for smoking hot Ben Bo to quit smoking. There have been other women in Ben's life who want him to put down the cigarettes, including his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. But Ben's been a smoker all his life, and it's not easy to give it up. Oh, honey, he, he'd rather have um he rather have a Newport than J Lo. And wouldn't you? And wouldn't we all? There was one. Oh, she's a liar. Megan's a liar, and she's unmasked. Well, that's why we're variants. Cause she's not wearing a mask. This woman, I mean, now it's her hair. This is, she, why did the back of her hair grow and not the front? That's the mystery. What's going on with this wig? Oh, look at her. She's mad. Oh, she hates Camilla. She's wicked. Yeah, duh. Now, where is... Oh, gas bag Camilla spills beans on Biden's toots. And look at these people. This is absolutely disgusting. These people are farting and talking about it. I mean, is this what's happened to the monarchy and to our, our country? Prince Charles' tattletale wife Camilla can't stop telling pals President Joe Biden loudly passed gas. It was long and loud and impossible to ignore. Camilla hasn't stopped talking about it. Oh, she likes to smell other people's farts. Look at her. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I lost all of the mark. I saved all of the... Oh, my God. Honey, Wendy... I heard Wendy Williams has dementia. And all, the ratings have gone up with all these other people without Wendy. But I need to have Wendy back. I don't care about any of these people. I need Wendy. And I need this wig. But there was... Oh, I lost it. So, oh, there, there they are again. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. She got a BBL? Honey, I wonder if she has coffee in it. She has coffee? New butt lift helps her feel better during marriage crisis. Desperate to boost her self-esteem. She looks and feels fantastic. But what happened, what's going on with her? Something happened to her lipstick. Honey, that butt got her off kilter and she, sm she, she smeared it. She does look like the Bambi twin. Oh, somebody, okay. Now, there's one thing I'm trying to find. Where was it? I lost it. <laughs> Not this. Look. Ew. The only needles I want are the ones with ink. Oh, he... A straight shutter has finally gotten to the bottom. Straight shutter. What the hell does that mean? That's his song, Aaron Carter. Straight shutter has finally gotten to the bottom, so to speak, of why Aaron Carter suddenly pulled out of a performing at a totally nude Vegas venue, Naked Boy singing. He wasn't vaccinated against COVID. Oh, this is the variant, honey. This is the variant, the Aaron Carter variant. Oh, he, he had no problem exposing himself on stage, but he did have a problem getting the vaccine. Oh God, oh, that's why we have mutations. This one, if I have to hear about him in a sex life one more time, he took um, hallucinogens and then wanted to have sex with a bunch of different women. Oh, here it is. Something wild. These stars have animal magnetism. Now, do you think Rihanna looks like this? <laughs> with her doe eyes and curly mop top, the umbrella singer stands apart from the pack. But those very qualities also make the make the beauty look more like a little like this adorable alpaca. There's no reason to behoove her to change her style because the fashion community will eventually do that on her own. So eventually she's going to look more like this? Well, what about this, honey? <laughs> what is this? Gordon Ramsay looks like this wrinkled cat. Oh, that poor wrinkled cat. But what about this, honey? <laughs> this doggone pupper seems to be turning on Whoopi Goldberg's turf. What is this? A pig? Gene Simmons? Oh, it's a cow. 
He looks like a cow. This is the stupidest spread. And how can I work for this magazine? Because I want to come up with something stupid. I mean, this is stupid. <laughs> I mean, somebody took the time to put this together and print this. <laughs> Taylor Momsen Mon looks like a wreck. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She's probably going through somebody's garbage. I mean, Snoop Dogg, well, of course he looks like a dog. His name is Snoop Dogg. I mean, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen some dumb things like this. Look at this bracelet. Ugh. Ugh. America loses as Joe snoozes. We get it, he's tired. Ugh, and you know what? So am I. Honey, I'm still tired from House of Gucci. It was an hour show. It was it was two and a half hours of a pure Italian accents gone uh, gone askew. Ah, oh, what a world! Well, I hope everybody enjoyed Total Trash Live today. I hope everybody enjoyed my outfit, my House of Gucci outfit. My Patreon will be up and running. And Two weeks, maybe. I'm just trying to get it going, but I've lost a lot of time out of my life from the watching House of Gucci. But I've got to go. I've got to go to a party. I'm just that girl. I'm just House of Gucci. It's time to take out the trash. Bye. Oh, you will be having a new Chacha Hills before Christmas. Very, very soon. Mm hmm I mean, we used to have to record it apart, and I have a, now that we're both vaccinated, I have it back in the closet, but now with these new supernova variants, the octogenarian variant, whatever it's called, the octo, octomom, the octomom variant. Oh yes, Lumina, I don't have Lumina yet. Honey, look at this. I do have a number two pencil. I need sharpened. I have a number two pencil and no pencil sharpener. What's a girl to do? <laughs> I've got to go. I've got to get going. I've got to sharpen this pencil. Please, Lumina. Oh my God, you guys are obsessed with Lumina. You want to see a picture of Lumina? I'll have. I hope to have. I hope to actually have Lumina here at some point. We'll just have to wait and see. Till next time. Oh, I feel like I'm in an 80s disco in Italy with the worst accent. Oh, it's time to eat it up. Rigatoni, lasagna, time to take out the deep dish pizza. Lumina! Cha-cha for now.